sacred birds, sharing the message of peace. We are the bridge people. We have one foot in their world and one in our own. I do healing. I also am a, am a healer. I do now honor myself as a shaman. A shaman is somebody who is the bridge between the unseen world and the, the seen world. We have been chosen to help deliver the last message. have been taken, they are called just denigrated or directly attacked, their languages and customs suppressed, their wisdom and traditional knowledge overlooked, and their sustainable ways of developing natural resources dismissed. Some have even faced the threat of extinction. Indigenous peoples continue to suffer from prejudice and ill will. In many cases, they are trapped in the middle of conflict, conscripted into armed forces, faced with summary executions and relocated from their lands. They are subject to extreme poverty, disease, environmental destruction, and sometimes permanent displacement. And I believe what the man people say, there's going to be a change and a shift in our mentality. Will you join us? It's kind of like getting on a car where you don't know where it's going and watching the journey unfold in front of you. Virtuality is being left out everywhere. Earthquakes and the things that's happened around the world, I call it spiritual blindness. Well, let's put spirituality back on the map. The world did not listen. And that's why you have the world the way it is, out of balance. It's crazy, it's mixed up. It's like spilled paint. We'll choose the battleground, and we'll choose the time. We refuse to turn the other cheek. No invadió la propiedad privada, me dijo que no iba a entrar a la propiedad privada. Que nos certifica y nos verifica y nos ratifica que aquí no existen zonas de pagamento, no existen comunidades indígenas. Por eso hay violencia. Hoy en día lo, esa personaje, esa personaje dice, cancéleme las deudas. Es un deber de toda la humanidad velar por este, estos elementos que son los tesoros que vamos a dejar a la futura gener, generación. Pero si nosotros no actuamos, eso seguirá descontrolándose. Vamos a vivir, es cuando aprendamos a tocar la tierra, a sembrar con amor la tierra, entonces ahí sí podemos contribuir al huérfano, a la viuda, a los ancianos, porque el mundo necesita pan, no necesitamos pedazos de piedra brillante. We're here with Grandfather Martin at Hopi Province of the Rock. This is a completion of a cycle. I was here in 1995 at this 
very sacred rock, which is part of their prophecies. Grandfather, first yeah. of all, we thank you. Oh, you're welcome. For, for giving this opportunity to be with you in uh -huh. the sacred land. Uh -huh. From all the four directions. And for me, it was very special to see my elder brothers from Colombia uniting with you, the condor and the eagle. So tell us a little bit about how you feel now meeting these elders from South America. When these elders will be uh, telling the, the story about what, what our Eastern prophets had been taught, I think, then the, the word will be spread out to the world. Then the people will be noticed when it will be the time for, for all this purification will be getting onwards. Yeah, because you see the purification coming soon, huh? Yeah, it's, it's coming. It's way near to that point. I, I also was happy to hear that, that you were one of the people that went to the United Nations in 1992 with Thomas. Absolutely. Tell me what was your experience when you went to the United Nations that first time? That because you tried three times to go to give the message at the House of Mike. Is that true? Well, it's not 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 that times. We just went out there maybe a couple of times, but but it, it, nothing much more. And this is the one that goes out to the evil system right there. Oh, that's the evil system. So they were have two hearted person, three of them. Uh -huh. So this one hearted person out here. It's, it's, it's like this, you see. Oh. But, uh, so, he think these people are on the right path, but, right. but it's not. Uh, They're not on the right it's path. It's against the everlasting life path. Uh, right, so. right. Out here, this is the, this is how they re represent everlasting life out, out here, you see. When purification is over, no more sicknesses. No more sicknesses. No, no more sicknesses. Oh. Yeah. And these circles here, this, is this symbol of World War One and World War Two? No, it's, it's, this is the government that's been holding us, controlling us. Oh, the, the, it's a symbol and of then if, if those purifiers will be due to same right here. The prophecy of the Condor and the Aguila, which comes from our culture Maya, se refiere al encuentro del norte y el sur, porque la civilización futura no es oriente-occidente, sino norte-sur, porque su centro va a estar ahora en las Américas, y las Américas son un continente que va del norte al sur. Profecía, la llamada profecía maya, el, el anuncio del 2012, que no es una profecía, es un cálculo calendárico de los ciclos evolutivos en el tiempo que tenían nuestros sabios mayas. Entonces el, nos quedan cinco años de aquí al 2012. Ese año no es que va a haber catástrofe, es todo lo contrario. Ya me lo han confirmado los sabios mayas, que es un cambio favorable para la humanidad, para el planeta y para todo el sistema solar. Y para mí tú haces muy igualito. Entonces, ¿qué diferencia tenemos nosotros? Tenemos que organizar, por eso que decían los mayores, por allá tenemos un hermanito menor indígena, pero yo mismo pensé, ¿qué indígena va a haber más? No lo veo. Y ahora estamos contratando para acá. Ni se sabe hasta dónde vamos a llegar. Vamos a conocer más. Wakandam kaya ya on shimala yo 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 wichane shonku ayo yo yo wichane shonku ane hey anna hey anne yo Hey Anna, hey Anne, yo we. Hey Anna, hey Anne, yo we. We breathe in God's light, the light of the eclipse. We open a doorway, healing hands, opening hearts, ancient rhythm. 
We are searchers for the truth, seeking out the wisdom of the ancient tribes, prophecies, mysteries, messages in the stones, the Kogi, the Hopi, a message of truth. message comes to awaken us again. Never too late to save the world.